This is an example of a connected body problem because effectively we have two bodies connected together. In trying to solve this type of problem, we first of all have to draw free body diagrams for both the objects involved in the problem. So here we have the free body diagram for the trailer. Forces acting on the trailer are first of all the force of gravity or the weight acting downwards and vertically upwards there is the normal reaction force N1. In the horizontal direction we have the tension in the tow bar which I've labelled T. Next we draw the free body diagram for the truck. Again in the vertical direction we have the weight of the truck acting downwards and the normal reaction force, N2, acting vertically upwards. In the horizontal direction, we have the force of the engine of the truck, the 20 kN force, acting in the positive x direction, and the tension in the tow bar, T, acting in the negative x direction. Forces in the vertical direction are balancing one another in both diagrams. And so there is no acceleration in the vertical direction or the y direction. And so we only need to consider for this problem the forces in the horizontal or x direction. The resultant force acting on the trailer is just T. So if we substitute that into Newton's second law equation, we have the resultant force T is equal to the mass of the trailer times its acceleration which is in the A direction, so I've labelled that AX. Similarly, if we look at the truck, the resultant force on the truck in the horizontal direction is the force of the engine, the 20 kN force, minus the tension in the tow bar. Again, putting that into Newton's second law equation, that is equal to the mass of the truck times its acceleration, AX. Both the truck and the trailer will have the same acceleration AX, so we can substitute equation 1 into equation 2, which gives us this expression, which we can then simplify. And that finally gives us the value for the acceleration AX is equal to 0.66 meters per second squared. Then if we want the tension in the tow bar, we can go back and substitute that value of AX into either equation 1 or equation 2. Here I've substituted it into equation 1. And that gives us, solving that numerically, 13.2 kilonewtons for the tension in the tow bar.